Good morning, lady. I'm new here in this neighborhood. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. My name is Laura. I want to welcome you on behalf of all of us. My pleasure, Laura. My name is James. I see you're not wearing your mask. Oh, we don't use a mask anymore. Since the town is very safe, when did you arrive? Oh, I see. I've just arrived some hours ago. Well, I wear this mask every day. Oh. You don't have to wear it anymore. We have a very safety environment here in this town. Thank you, Oi, but I prefer to keep it if this doesn't bother you, of course. Is that okay? Uh, that's okay, James. So, what do you do for a living? Are you a doctor or a nurse? Oh, you mean because of my suit? No, I'm not a doctor. I'm an oculist. Oh, an eye doctor. That's very interesting. We don't have an eye doctor in this town. Well, I have my office near her. You can come some day and I can check your eyes. That sounds good since I was having some problem with my eyes recently. By the way, what do you do for a living? May I ask you more personal question? Of course. We are neighbors now. So I think we have to know each other more. That's correct. We never know who our neighbor can be, so it is good to know each other. Well, I am manager in High Restaurant. It is near the bank. Do you know that? Yeah, I have seen the bank and also that restaurant when I was coming with taxi. Yeah, it is a good restaurant. You can come and eat something sometime in the future. Absolutely, I will go. What time do you usually go to work? Do you go by bus? Oh, we don't have buses here, James. We drive our own car or we call a taxi when we need to. I see. I don't have a car for the moment. A mechanic is repairing my car now. Well, I often leave my home to work at 8 in the morning. I can take you to your office. Oh, that would be amazing. You are so kind. I am lucky to have you as my neighbor. Oh, don't say that. You make me blush, James. You look like a good person. Well, you have to find out if it is true or not. But if you need anything, I'm here to help you. It's very kind of you. By the way, I know it can be little inappropriate, but are you married? Actually, I am married, but I don't live with my wife. She is usually in other country. Men always say that, I mean, I'm sorry, it was so inappropriate of me. I'm really sorry. Ha ha ha. No, that's okay. I forgot to mention that. We don't live together because we're separated. Oh, you mean you are going to get divorced in the future? I'm sorry again for asking that. That's okay. And yeah, we are getting divorced now. And you, are you married? No, I am not married. I was dating somebody. But things don't go well sometimes, you see. I totally understand. You don't have to tell me everything about your life if you don't want. No. That's okay. Remember we have to know our neighbors very well. Yeah, well, I think you are right. And, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, I like to go to the movies, watch series on TV, or go camping with my friends. Seriously? I love going camping too. But I don't usually go, although, I'd love to. Why is that? Maybe you don't have much time to go because of your work? No, it is just that I am new here and I don't know any good place to go. Camping, you see. Oh, you're right. Well, you can come camping with us. We usually go on Sundays. Really? Awesome. I don't work on Sundays, so we can go there. Can I take my child with me? I didn't know you had a child. I love children. How old is he? What's his name? Yeah, he is in my home now. His name is Sam, and he is seven years old. He's a good boy. Sam, that's a nice name. And where does Sam study? I mean, what school is he going? Well, I don't know. Remember I've just arrived. Do you know a good school over here? 
obviously. I know a good one. All the children from this town go there. Oh, great. I'm sorry. I forgot to ask you. Do you have any children? I do. I have one daughter. Her name is Angelina, and she is 10 year old. Okay, then. I have to go to office. I will catch you on Sunday. Bye. Okay. Take care. Bye.